Welcome back to more Manor Lords action. We continue where we left things off last time. And the fires of industry continue to burn bright with all of our logging camps. We are super duper close to getting enough timber to continue our great power construction all the way around our starting region, which will then fill in with uh, loads of walls because we'll then need to switch production from logs to or from timber to uh, refining those into planks uh, we are also starting to import some as well um i'm also thinking we're starting to we're starting to struggle with the tavern supply with not having any ale it's costing so much i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna scrap it i'm gonna say no trade on the ale so let's save some money there what i am gonna do though is spend what little money the regional wealth that this um village has to open up a trade route for shoes and I'm going to establish that. And then I'm then going to export our shoes because they're worth eight gold. And desired surplus. Let's just say we want a surplus of 30. And then we'll sell the rest. That should start bringing them in some decent gold. Oh, perfect. A bandit camp. For that, I am going to say I want to take it for my treasury, though. Because that means we can then settle... Um, over in this region, which we're going to rename Isengard because it's going to be our main industry uh, region because we've got a rich iron deposit here and a rich clay deposit. Plus, we can chop down a load of forest as well. You guys you guys know we like doing that now. Um, so, yeah, we'll settle that there. But we wanted to do that when we had 750 gold in our treasury so that we could start it off with the highest level of supplies possible. Um Right, let's, let's go take them out. Um, I could just send my retinues because if I think if I send my arch militia, it's going to slow down production here. So let's get the militia, the militias, the retinues from both villages going. And we'll have them gather here, then march up through here. And then, yep. So we'll have them, you know, what, we'll have them assemble by the old windmill. Lovely. Um, we're going to want to start building fields here for uh, barley production when we can. Uh, might as well finish that one off. Have another ruler's army. Yeah, they've sent troops in for bandits as well. We've got a race to them. In fact, they're going to be pretty swift, aren't they? I mean, you guys are running going to be knackered, but go for it, guys. Go for it. I don't know how often the raiders come at the default settings, to be fair. Because those are bandits. I'm assuming we get raiders every year. Uh, we've got a good chunk of influence, so I could actually claim another region. Um, this one's got the the rich stone deposit, so I might claim that one just because we might need to. But I assume every region I claim, that means there's less bandit camps that can appear, essentially. Uh, either that or I was thinking, maybe we just claim this, but I also have not got enough military troops, I don't think, to challenge the... Uh, the off-screen AI. I'm assuming like you have, you have to claim both of his regions for victory, right? So I'm assuming you, once you take one, then the final one that you claim, he really goes ham sending troops to defend it. Alright. Let's fast forward. Get thy timber. And we'll know if they're making any money through their trade. Because we'll see our shoes start going. That's the trader, apparently. Oh, that's, that's the merchant. So, got to wait for him to go off map and then come back. I think he was just there for whatever else we were doing. We've built these logs logging camp so that should be enough for uh, log storage i think it gets pretty close um then we're gonna aim to reforest this rear section over here because we'll get some we'll get some rye for we'll get a little bit of farming done up here in the north for rye but this bit what i might even do is try and do a road Just 
to kind of mark out that area. So I know for later. Okay, and I can go a bit can go a bit tighter. So we could also do the field boundaries alongside it. And then up to there. Whoops. Okay, I can, I can drop around it a little bit. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Really? Close enough, it'll do. That's farmland. Hold off on claiming it for now. Build up Isen, more of Isengard, and then think about taking the region next to his own. Yeah. I think the default is max one camp per year. Yeah, but I'm worried about. Uh, I'm wondering about raiders as well because raiders are separate from bandits, right? The bandit camp spawning, right? And then you also have raiders coming in. I think. Oh, approvals looking great. It's because of the clothing. No population growth. All both spots occupied. Okay, so we should. Yeah, we should pop some more in. Oh, there we go. We were going to pop some more in here. Haven't got around to actually slapping them in yet. Building larger plots on the outskirts. We've got the main ones through the high street. It's so cool seeing how this is like built up though. I love the, the weird and wacky roads that we're doing. It, feel, it looks like a little yoldy medieval village. Like how the industry's out by the forest and what have you. It's cool. Oh yeah, have these guys got to position? You have. Nice. They're marching up this way. So we're actually going to have you guys march to here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are we doing over here? We've still got room for two more families to join. Uh, the yields in a few days. Only 33% crop growth there. You guys have got 59%. That's not bad. And our pack station is set up for planks and shoes. Planks and shoes. Because we've got all the planks. You're getting some planks in. That's good because, yeah, you've got no plank production there. So anything that planks that come in are definitely from trade, which is good. So we know that's working. Um, if I had more gold as well, I'd also like to chuck in more mules here. Get you guys going quicker. You guys haven't got any life. I thought we'd given you guys. Oh, you've got livestock.
Why is no one taking the animal though? Oh, you are. Transporting shoes. Okay, yeah, pack station. Oh, great, right, from the other station, I think. I think it's all interchangeable. Peter, let's just, well, let's just double check. Is he part of this one? Yes, he is. So he's, yeah, transporting. Okay, so they share it. That's, that's fine. So we built this new, the Trader's Road. This is what this one's known as. The Trade Road. Between Cabington and Leondis. A more direct path for trade between our two villages. I want to see a harvesting in action. I'm not sure I'm no longer making. Um. Oh no, there we are making. Why is that? Oh, yeah, it resets on save game. I'm like ninety percent sure. But weirdly, it also put someone back in there. Thanks for that spot, guys. Let's set that reserve. Take the person out of it as well. Oh, damn it. I mean, they should, we should be getting planks over through trade because we are... Um, I wonder if I need to put more people in here, actually. Um... We are trading from the other village planks for shoes, though, so hopefully that is enough. Good spot, guys. The city skylines mod looks weird. Ah, city skylines wish it was this. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, right. You guys hold. Get him. Oh, that was great. Now. Push forward. Come into bits between you. Around the enemy. Glorious. Victory. Move. Head into that camp. I mean, to be fair, we don't need both of them doing it. We can send this one back here. And you guys can go on in to grab it. We'll take the gold for our treasury. You guys are going to start pulling back now. How is it so far? I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Oh, we're finally making some good gold. Nice. Yeah, by not doing that trade for the ale, it's letting them build up. Which is good. You've got shoes in there, which you're looking to trade. I'm going to put another worker in here. So we will be losing a little bit of timber to that construction as well. Double checking that saw pit isn't active now. I'm like twitchy on it. So. Oh, they're harvesting now. Cool. But 
both fields? Yes, they are. Good. Look at them go. It's harvesting time. So then with the wheat, we need it going into the windmill. No. Yes. That's green to flower. Next harvest. 128. Oh, so we've got to turn it from wheat to grain first. Go. Belongs to my treasury now. You are. Oh, we're just shy of what we need. That's fine. We can start taxing Leondis again to get the final amount of money. We turn it into grain, or is the the wrong type? Surely not wheat. Thre oh, is threshed into grain at the farm. Right. There we go. They've got to probably finish harvesting it, then they'll thresh it. So, yeah, we've got the old windmill here, which, to be fair, it's not in the right place, really. Out there, but I kind of like the idea of repairing it. an old granary there as well i mean otherwise all that's really good prime field area there so we don't want to build anything here i think where we could put our bakeries it's have to, gonna have to be an extension of stuff here so probably we could extend things along and build some bakeries in or the communal oven yeah go on then let's let's repair the old windmill rebuild it and also have a new pathway around it. Okay. We could yeah we could put bakeries we could put bakeries in here. It's just a lot of like back and forth with logistics. I'm assuming like I think I mean correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like sometimes workers will take their resources from the local storehouse or the stalls, but if they're also next to a part of their production chain, they'll just grab it from next door, I think. But maybe they don't do that. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. Oh, and also, uh, you guys confirmed uh, Mendel did on Discord that my firewood. Firewood. I picked up all the uh, all the bodies earlier. And when I deleted it, they were already in there. I just didn't see them get picked up and put in there, apparently. Um, we, they've got, oh, whoa, look at their regional wealth. How many shoes have they got? Because surely they've sold all their shoes. No, they've got loads coming in. What we'll do is we'll let, we'll let that go for a bit. So this, we've got the Warbo stock. I think also it's helped it. We're trading more often because I've got more workers in there now as well. Maybe that was part of my... Maybe 
maybe that was part of it because I didn't have enough workers on the trade. I only had one. It was very slow to get trade going. What do horses? I don't think horses do anything right now, do they? They help. Help the field. Right. They're going to work. They're, they're trying to clear through that. Storage 10 wheat. None stored inside, but you guys got a hundred and... Oh, no. Sorry, I thought 163 wheat. That's good. Then it'll get turned into grain. Let's get more foresters in, actually. Help work this area, but we're building the trees back up nicely. Did we set your work area to be in here, I think? Is coming in there. Okay, he's just giving gold to us. Oh, no, that was for the war bows. Well, there is another one in there. Are you grabbing anything? A bit of gold. That could be the pack stations as well. got a lot of shoes I don't know what we are still we're still selling the war bows nicely oh there's this one coming in as well let's see what you do you take the shoes you should do you should be the trader for shoes surely as well. No, you're going in. Or did you not get anything? Step right up oh, and oh, no, you're the ale trader because we've got, we've got that path going. Right, you're coming for shoes, apparently. Let's follow you then. Let's see if you take any shoes. You're going to take that road, are you? That's the scenic route, but okay. There's 119 shoes in there now. 129. God damn. We are machines at producing shoes. In he goes. Is he going to take the shoes? Yes. He just took half of them for 400. Wow. Shoes are a great money maker. That'd be my top tip right now. Yeah, go for shoes. And I'm going to start taxing you peasants again. So I can do 10%. Can I afford that loss? Yeah, actually, I can. Why not? Boom. Cobbler's Dream. Medieval Adidas. Yeah. 
get your shoes and if you don't want them we'll sell them boom that's how to turn a profit yeah you just got some things five streams in a row nice welcome welcome glad you can make it to him uh disband that retinue disband that retinue forgot about those um how are we doing on this So next year it'll go fallow, right? And we'll see it increase. They're, yeah, going to plow it. They are converting everything. The rest of them are threshing. Oh, did I see it say the granary was full? Oh, no, all the grains have been moved in there. Okay, cool. Um, that one. Oh, no, this one's pantry is full. You got so many vegetables. I mean, that's, that's the wonderful problem to have, really. Too many veggies. How many shoes do you want? The answer is yes. Mm, yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, just get more people going to it. I think also, yeah, increasing the number of people we had on the trader certainly helps. I want to get more people in there. That seems to be helping massively. Uh, what, do you, what do you want me to do? Expand your pantry? I don't know if it does expand your pantry. Um... It does. Oh, that's good. We've got too many vegetables. Or as one, two of you clocked, uh, I am in fact uh, referencing, making reference to Greg Davies from his time on Would I Lie to You? Uh, where he tells a very funny story about when he was a teacher and one of his, um, one of his colleagues um, says, Vegetables! <laughs> what are the deer doing? They're loose in the hoose. We are just outside their range. It's a Dianado. <laughs> Love it. How many how many hunters do we actually have active? I guess that's cool. You're going to see Greg Davies next year. Amazing. Jealous. I've only ever seen one comedian live, actually. And that was Trevor Noah about eight or nine years ago. It was really good. I really enjoyed the, the show. I'd love to go see, see some more. I'd love to go see Jack Whitehall, actually. Really enjoy his comedy. But yeah, Greg Davies would be fantastic. Is there a moose, a loose in the hoose? Okay, we got yeah okay we're maxed out on families now for the toy bin but i mean we can have we can have some little families out out here as well actually i'm gonna make a cutesy little bit around the berries making wiggly roads because it's just really fun to see how the houses build in and around all of it i absolutely love it Like, look at that. Just the, the way it just builds those in. It just looks so organic. I love it. And um, we can do another one. Mm, let's just see, really make it interesting. Go across like that. Carnage. Not efficient, but it looks wonderful. Yeah, that's what you want. Oh, why can't I build that? Do not enough timber? Oh, it's I can't go right into the corner? No? Yep, 
Yeah, it doesn't go quite like going right fully into it. That's fine. That's still incredible. I reckon if I do that, I'll have a... Yeah, I'm going to go for bigger plot again. I'm like, keep the really tight ones, like the almost the terrace type plots, really localized within the center of villages. And then as we get out wider, you get bigger plots, which is pretty, pretty apt, right? Is there a point to making plots so big? So the if you make plots bigger and it shows that they've got a backyard plot, um, it means you can, if you choose to put vegetables in, you'll grow more vegetables or you'll have the capacity to grow more vegetables, providing that you have your um, your families have enough time to work those fields. If you So typically, if you want to have like, if you, your terraced houses in the center, which aren't going to have big backyard plots, put chickens in there because chickens don't... Um, you, it doesn't matter how big you build the plot, you'll only get the same number of chickens each time. But if you put either vegetables or apple orchards, the larger the plot, the more resources you'll get. Alright, I was really hoping we'd get the towers or we could at least commit to the towers today. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, we've got enough gold. We've got enough gold. It's October though. Um... Do we have enough time to get our new settler camp in and our stuff stored before winter comes? Maybe. Oh, someone said, why didn't I choose the farming village for the other one? Farming village, forest village, and mining village are kind of just placeholder at the moment. They aren't in the um, early access build right now. Gives me some tools, some rocks, bread. Um. I think, yeah, I probably should wait to spring to pop it in. Which, if we're just going to blast through, though, now. Pantry's full. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to upgrade you. No, your pantry's not full. Is it your next door neighbor? No. Oh, it's because you're still building at the moment. Yeah, we try and blast through some time now just to get our timber our last bits of timber up that we need that'd be great i feel like we need a few more logging camps still i thought i got it perfect but yeah it looks like we need another one or two A lot little we've got left. Just chuck two more in, then we're going to be done. Family requests more market area for their stall. For you guys. No. Okay, you want more market space. Okay, okay. Put our market there. Have you guys finished up all them? Yeah, you've got all that. Okay, so we need another market. Um, I feel like another little market down here. I kind of like the fact we got the market up against the uh, the palisade there, although it's probably not like super apt having it there. Um, I quite like this little kind of pear drop shape that we've got kind of going on here. Do that. And then I'm going to plop in, hopefully, space for a fairly big market. Oh, I don't know if I want to as, I don't know if I want that massive of one.
pretty big. I wish it would let you do the like the burgage plots here where you could like click it and then it would tell you how much how do you want to reduce that a bit? That'll do. And I guess while we're here, let's also slap in more bow spots because we're full already. It's just one big one. That's fine. Lots of veggies. Get them all in there. Still not got enough for that. Um, oh, we are making so much gold, though. But actually, it's fine, because if they have loads of regional wealth, we'll tax them for more gold. That's fine. I'm going to start dropping a load of money soon. I mean, it means we could probably start doing the beer supply, the ale supply back in again. Because that's all need, some of these guys need for us to get them up to tier three. Although we also need to then get clay going and roof tiles. But I think for that, we'll wait until we've got our... Clay deposit, rich clay deposit done there. Okay, we've got the grain. Have we got the windmill up and running? No, it's because... Have we got construction? Timber. There's loads of it here. Do we need to give you guys another one of these? Probably, but in which case we need to get a trading post and start selling stuff from here as well. Okay. You're quite centrally located, so trade is going to come from either there or through from there. So we probably want to build the trade post around here so it can go that way or that way. Although it's going to take a long time to get trade goods out there. Mm, no, probably keep it in the village then. Keep it in the village. create all the villages on the same border and create a giant city uh, i've seen i've seen some creators do that actually like they build right by the borders and it kind of just flows across um it doesn't it like the cities are, the regions are still separate entities as such but you you kind of can have them right next door to one another to make it look like a massive city stocks are getting mortgage plot stocks what my, my vegetables are getting wet fine vegetables can get wet don't worry about it. N not the wet vegetables. <laughs> Having turned pantry full. Oh, so you, you need upgrading. Yes, but... You, we need a clothing store. We need to do some clothing. We need to get a hunter's camp or we need to get some goats. That's why I need to. But we need money. So we need to, yeah, start trading here next. Uh, we must have a hunter's camp because... Yeah, it's there. Where are all the hides going? Another one in there. So if I built, built a tannery, then we'd be fine. Noise, treasury change registered. Boom. Look at that. We've got 2k influence as well. So I probably will claim this region, but I'm not going to rush about doing it, to be honest, because just by claiming it doesn't really do anything for us right now. If anything, it probably takes a region away that bandits could spawn in. Um, or we could go over there and claim that. 
but it's not actually letting me do it right now. So I don't know how what I need to do to get to that level. But I think that's where we'll wrap things up for today as winter comes. Those famed words of House Stark. The last of the logging camps are getting filled up. Oh, we just need a few more logs and then we can commit to our absolutely epic tower conquest. And then we'll then we'll need to then we'll need to go into the planks market and get all the planks, which we've got coming over from our other village. But I think we'll have to do them locally as well. It's just so slow to trade with those barter posts. Um, but then yeah, we'll fill in the walls all around it and we'll have one nice big walled village. Which will be good fun. How did I get so much silver? What, the regional wealth or the, the treasury? The treasury. Um, I am taxing them 10% currently, land tax. I did also get some from when you just when you destroy a bandit camp, you can choose to send it back as regional wealth to the nearest town um, or village, or you can take it as your treasury. And then you can build up that way. But most of the gold I've got now is from the 10% tax here. From the regional wealth. Which these guys are now making a fortune selling shoes. Who would have thought shoes be a pretty solid um, trade away. We're actually now, we're, we're now running out of shoes. Oh no. But it's fine. They're nice and wealthy. And yeah, I'm getting 10% every month. Which is working nicely. So close. I didn't realize it were that. Yep, that's how it, that's how it goes. You always support the treasury. Yeah, just basically build, make your peasants rich and then tax them. So get loads of trade going with them and then tax the poop out of them. The only impact is that taxation hits your approval rating, but it kind of depends if you need growth growth or not. At the moment, don't need it. In fact, we've got we've got loads of unassigned here for construction that I really should be putting into hmm, probably some of these plots up here. Those should be enough, I think. I don't know if we've hit our hit our limit. No, we're so close. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop in a minute. I swear, I swear, I'm gonna stop in a minute. I just want to get to the point where I can commit to those towers, so that next time we pick up, we can kind of see them all being built. Because I assume we'll have to see all of our all all of our yeah peasants going constructing them. But we can free up a load of peasants by destroying all the lumber camp. Although, actually, if we do that, it'd be better to keep the lumber camps and just unassign everyone from working them because it won't the supplies spoil in winter, even though they're logs. So I think it's it's probably better to leave them all and then destroy them when it's spring again. Empower the peasants to then crush them financially. Love it. Nice and evil. That's the feudal lifestyle that we're going for. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, but there we go. Right. Time to commit. Oh, oh, it's doing it. But weirdly, that got rid of my garrison tower. Mm, okay. Okay. But yeah, we're, it's now being constructed. Like, all the stuff. They're going to have to go gather all of those things now. <laughs> How many oxes do we have? Yeah, we've got, we've got them up. I was going to get another... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I am going to get another ox up here. Although, I realise that's a terrible thing to do because I haven't upgraded that. We need planks. Um, but hey-ho, it's fine. Um, it, it has begun. What we need to do now is just take everybody off all of these. Because the more unassigned, the more people we should have ready for construction. So it should mean that everybody just pitches in now to help build the great towered village. And then we'll start working on walls. There we go. They're all, all unassigned off that. This logging camp... 
That was bugged. No, that's my mana. No, it's kind of... I don't know if I'd, like, just... Am I just bugged on the mana now? If I come over here. No, I'm finding Covington. I can click things again. If I come back in here, I can't click on that. I can oh, I can click on these on camera. Why can't I click on that one? Can't click on any of those. I can click on that one. Can't click on those. I mean, it should disappear when the mana is constructed. A new bandit camp. Ooh, we don't have one over there for a little while. Well, we will go and hunt these bandits and have fun seeing all of our towers being built at the start of the next episode. Until then, hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.